So, the Z creators line from Mr. George Saharoff. And a few people like myself, you know, fragrance reviewers. You want to know my thoughts on them? Well, meet me on the other side of this intro, you know, just on the other side. And I will tell you exactly what I think about this line of fragrances. What's going on, everybody? You guessed it. It is your boy, LL Cool Trey. Uh, Trey Belafonte. Uh, for those of you who have been rocking with me for a long time, Trey Sense. That's me. Same guy. Same person. Doing the same crime. Listen, got a little review, a little discussion. You know how we do it here on the channel. What is it about? Well, I just told you in the thing, whatever. It's about the Z Creators line. And what the Z Creators line is a group is is a group of fragrances. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We'll say quarterback, led by Mr. Zaharoff, Mr. George Zaharoff, who was a really cool person, really good dude, very generous to a small guys in Fragcom, and a group of fellow reviewers like Curly Sense. Um, which hers is called The Siren. Justin Copeland, his is Brass and Soul, and then Ross Carlos from TLTG Reviews, and his is uh, Business Over Pleasure. Now, I don't have full presentation on these, but um, the bottles are beautiful, the presentation is great. Uh, personally, I like Ross's bottle, uh, The Business Over Pleasure. I think the best because, you know, I like blue, so. That's that. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's get into the fragrances. Now, first of all, I gotta give a big shout out to my homeboy, JP at JP Frags. Be sure to go check out JP channel and my homeboy, Sam Broom, for hooking me up. Sam hooked me up with uh, Business Over Pleasure, uh, The Siren, and Brass and Soul. And JP, well, and then Sam sent me a little bit of uh, Rosé, and every time I say this, I'm gonna say it too. Rosé, he sent me a little bit of that, and JP, JP actually sent me two samples of the Rosé. So, big shout out to those guys. Y'all go check their channels out, and you know, give them some love and some support. Okay, where do we start? Well, we'll start down here on the end with Business Over Pleasure. And you see, this is the one I spent the most time with. Is this? It's right there. The scent. I like the scent. I do. I like the scent profile. I understand exactly uh, what George and Ross was going for with this one. Or, well, Ross, because from what I understand, George really didn't have a whole lot of input on the fragrances. That's just the way I understand it. Do I like the scent of this fragrance? Yes, I do. I do. Um, to me, it starts out cool refreshing like it's going to be a freshy then a little bit into the fragrance some iris starts to develop and i love absolutely love the note of iris so it goes from like to me to my nose to my thoughts it starts out like it's going to be a freshy then it kind of moves in a little bit different direction and uh, becomes a little bit masculine and a little bit sexy my problem with the fragrance is the performance on it is not great on my skin. Now, again, that's my skin. Somebody else may get 72 hours out of it. Somebody else may get 15 minutes. I don't know. I just know how it performs on my skin. Disclaimer, when I wore it, it was in the middle of the summer, and it was a very hot, muggy day, as most days in the middle of the summer in Alabama are. Um, so... That may have had something to do with it. I don't know. I just know it did not perform well on my skin. But I'll say this about all of these fragrances. They are extremely well made. Uh, you can tell that they're made with high quality ingredients. And you can tell a lot of thought went into the, um, the process behind the making of these fragrances. But nonetheless, 
I like the fragrance. I think it smells good. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna hit Mr. Z up and see about purchasing a bottle of Business of a Pleasure. Great office scent. Um, it is it is very light though. But again, we talked about this. Not everybody wants a fragrance that's gonna um, stand up when you're taking your shirt off. Or not everybody wants a fragrance that's gonna be um, meeting people at the door before you even get there. Sometimes you have to be, sometimes you're in a situation where you need a fragrance to be a little chill, a little calm, a little mature. Because some people see loud fragrances as a sign that you're trying too hard. So, I mean, sometimes you just need to be in an, an occasion where, you know, you need the fragrance to be less. Like, what if you're in a business meeting? You know what I'm saying? You don't want red tobacco on. I do, yes. But that's the Belafonte way, baby. Of course, we're gonna light them up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna light their nose up, but that's me. Everybody doesn't want that, you know what I'm saying? There are some people who want a fragrance to be very calm and very chill. And then there's some people who are like me, who want their fragrance to be very loud and very obnoxious. Maybe obnoxious isn't the right word. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get my hands on a full bottle, full presentation of Business Over Pleasure. What do we have next? I have to smell it to tell you what it is. What we have next is the Siren. And this is more my type of a fragrance. I know it has leather in it, um, some cognac in it, some cardamom, cardamom is that how you say it? Nonetheless, good little fragrance. I like it, I like it a lot. It's very dark. It's very rich. <laughs> it, it's it's well made. It's a little sophisticated. To me, it's the complete opposite of business over pleasure. It's just my opinion. And I would try to purchase a bottle of this, but I think I think that supply has dwindled. And I'm not sure you can still get it, but it's something about this fragrance that I, I like. I like a lot. It has a masculine, smoky type of vibe to it you know it's just to me it's just macho and this one is made by curly sense and it is called the siren i like it pick up on just a little bit of booziness in there i think that's cognac is that note i like that that smells to me like a very expensive fragrance it just does to my old nose but you gotta realize, I'm used to smelling Playboy fragrances and Adidas. So I smell something like this. You know, Bodman body spray. I do like that though. That's a, that's a good smelling fragrance. Cold weather though. It's going to be cold. I'm talking hoodie or sweater when I pull it. Because that's the only time I pull my hoodie out. Like on them days when the sun ain't coming out and it's 40 degrees, that's when I go for my hoodie because that sucker is thick and it is hot. But that is the Siren and I like it. I think it's probably my favorite out of all of them. But nonetheless, this next one on the list is from Justin Copeland and it is Brass and Soul. The main player in this fragrance to me is Mandarin Orange and I pick it up throughout the entirety of the fragrance. I don't get a whole lot of movement from it. It's Mandarin Orange for me from beginning to end. Moves a little bit, tries to get warm. I talked to Miss Belafonte about it. She really liked, well she likes them all. She really liked that um, Business Over Pleasure. I think that would be her favorite out of all of them. But she loves the note of iris, so you know, and so do I. I like I like the note of iris. But what I liked about business over pleasure, to my nose, the iris came in late, and I liked that. I thought that was a nice little touch. But again, that's to my old snap. The brass and soul, I just thought would have been a more boozy, dark, smoky type of a scent, and I thought that. 
Curly Sense would have made Brass and Soul and Justin Copeland would have made The Siren. I figured they would be reversed because to me, the Mandarin Orange, though it smells amazing, it is a great opening. The Mandarin Orange is bright, fresh, very natural. Um, I could see this easily being a unisex fragrance to my nose. Not saying that it's feminine because it's not. Just saying that I think in the right situation that a, a, a young lady could get away with wearing brass and soul. It does smell good. Um, it just comes off to me as very linear, uh, you know, linear. It doesn't, it doesn't move a whole lot. It stays, and that's just to my nose, you know, everybody, the, the crazy thing about fragrances is everybody picks up on different notes at different times and no two people are going to smell the same thing and uh, they're not going to smell the same on any two people. So this is just my opinion. Um, I have nothing bad to say about any of these fragrances. As again, I'll say it's a it's a very well made fragrance, very well blended, very smooth, very refreshing. Um, to me, it comes off as somewhat of a freshy, definitely not a date night type of scent, in my opinion. Um, I know he plays the jazz thing. What is it? The jazz trumpet. I can't see this being worn to a jazz club. I don't think it will cut through the smoke and the booze and all the thickness, you know, um, anything like that. But, you know, again, that's just my opinion. Do I think it's a fragrance worth purchasing? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it smells good. I do. I do. I think it smells good. It's definitely very refreshing. I'm not saying that it's a freshie, but it is definitely refreshing. And the last one on the list that I'm going to talk to y'all about is Rosé. And again, big shout out to Sam and JP for sending me this Rosé, baby. Now, right off the bat, when you smell this, the first thing that you notice is, I hate to keep saying it and beating a dead horse, the quality of the juice is amazing. Now, this is just not my type of scent. Um, does it smell good? Yes. But it's it's rose, then more rose, and then more rose. Probably about 15 different roses in here. It does smell really good. It does. And I like it. But I just can't think of an occasion that I would have to wear this. Definitely a spring, summer freshie. Oh man. I could imagine this being worn on a not so warm spring day. You know what I'm talking about? Those spring days where it's about 62, 63 degrees and you got that breeze. I could definitely see this coming off of somebody's skin and people catching a whiff of it and thinking that it was nice and it smelled good. But it, it smells like walking into a flower shop. I mean, it smells that natural. I will give it that. But it's just not the type of, it's not my type of jam. It's, it's not my, not my type of music. But I will give the fragrances props because I don't believe in bashing any fragrance. It is of high quality. And if you're the type of guy that likes a rose-based scent, then you will definitely like rosé. I'll even go as far as to say this. Um, if you're a guy and you're watching this video, which most of you are, and you're trying to find a gift for, uh, for your lady, I would not hesitate to buy this. Because again, this on a pretty sunny day with the wind blowing, which I love days when the wind blows. It's just, it's spring and fall on my, it's my time of the year. I know y'all know this, your boy been in such a good mood. Well, every time I turn the camera on, I'm in a good mood. You know, sometimes when I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall. And in the back of my mind, I hear my <laughs> I hear my conscience call telling me I need a girl that's as sweet as a dove. And for the first time in my life, I see I need love. Sing along, there I was, giggling about to get y'all know that's LL. I need love. But anyway, I digress, y'all. 
I need help. I need help. I need some help, y'all. Sometimes my mind just... But anyway, I could definitely see a young lady wearing this fragrance. And it's smelling really, really good on her. I could definitely see Miss Belafonte with her hair blowing in the wind. Boy. Mm. My bad, I forgot y'all was there for a minute. Um, anyway, I think all of these are really, really good fragrances. I really do. I wish when they came out, I had been finan in, a, in a financial position to pick them up. But at that time, I just wasn't. So, you know, I'm going to go back. I'm going to double back and see what I can do about getting my hands on a couple of bottles. Now, I know, I think Sam bought them all. Like, Yo, Trey, listen, they dope. Got them all. Got all four, Trey. Dope. You ain't got them, you better get them. Got them. That's my Sam impression. And that's exactly what Sam said. Yo, Trey, you quit making fun of me too. I'm tired of it. We're gonna fight. I don't know what Sam said. Anyway, I really do like all of these fragrances. Um, again, rose smells amazing. It's just not my type of fragrance. I do have two rose based fragrances. Uh, one is from the house of Michael Germain, or Michael Germain, and it is Tattooed Jungle. Nowhere near the quality of that, but it's something about it that makes it more wearable for me, and it is a compliment getter for a cheap fragrance. It, it pulls unsolicited compliments. I mean, women just, oh my God, you smell good, and it's, it's a rose-based fragrance. And of course, Toy Boy. Um, and I honestly, I wear a toy boy for myself because I don't ever see a woman smelling toy boy on a man and, and really thinking, <laughs> thinking that he smells really good. It's not the most masculine of fragrances. But uh, those are just a handful of rose-based fragrances that I, um, I think better suit me. Um, rose is a great smelling fragrance, but it is, it is really rose. It's like walking into a rose garden, which, you know, I could see how somebody would think that was beautiful. Again, just not like, just not my jam. Uh, again, the siren is more my speed. Um, business over pressure, as I've spent some time with it today, not in the heat, not sweating, not moving. Um, it's grown on me. It is one I think I will purchase the iris and it is really, really beautiful. Uh, it's a really balanced fragrance and I get a lot of movement out of it. Um, brass and soul. That mandarin orange really carries that fragrance. Um, I think I just expected a little bit more from that fragrance, a little bit deeper. Nonetheless, uh, if I can get my hands on a bottle, I will add it to the collection as well to go with the rest of my Zaharoff's, you know, uh, signature per home, signature royal, my signature royal, signature per home, and then signature nar, I think is what it's called, and then royale. So. All beautiful fragrances. Anyway, guys, you know what it is at this point. Thank you so much for returning to the scene of the crime. I am so glad you were here. Uh, thank you all for being the best part of this channel because without you all, I'm just a man that sits in front of this camera and sings old 80s rap songs. So I appreciate you all. Also, please, please, please be active in the comment section. That's what they are there for. Always feel free to comment on anything I do or anything I say, no matter how corny it is or how smooth I think it is, how much Belafonte I think is in it. Always feel free to comment and discuss it. That's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. Um, what am I forgetting? Like this video if you like it. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Share this video if you like it. Tell, it, tell your friends about it. Tell your friends it's this really good looking, big headed, handsome joker that think he funny but he talks about fragrances in the midst of all that other stuff that he's doing. Tell your friends about it. Just tell them just that. And all of that good stuff. And by all means, if you keep coming, returning to the scene of the crime, the least you could do is sub and then hit the bell for notifications so you know that I'm here. Also, also, please pay attention. Oh my gosh, I just totally lost my train of thought. Pay attention to the uh, uh, 
description. That's what I was trying to say. In the description, we're putting some stuff in there now. So pay attention. And there'll be a list of fragrances down below. I know y'all ain't used to seeing all that on my videos and stuff, but yeah, pay attention to the description because we putting stuff in there now. It's getting fancy around here. Pretty soon I'm gonna be spraying on fragrances that y'all can't pronounce. Just kidding. Anyway, man, again, thank you all for returning to the scene of the crime, for being the best part of this channel. I really, really appreciate you all. And I'm just thankful for you all. Really do appreciate that. Give yourselves a round of applause, standing ovation to my subs. I love you all. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna bring this fiasco to an end now. So again, like, share, and sub. Thank you for tuning in and stopping by my channel and checking me out. I love you all and may God bless you all. Till next time, peace.